Welcome back everyone, it's your boy Killer NC, and I'm back with another video. In this video, I will show you how to get your camera screen on your gameplay showing like this to looking more like this without a background. So if you use OBS to record your gameplay and you have a camera set up um, so you can show yourself while you're playing, then by default, it's going to go ahead and show your background, which it's not really something that you want to be shown. Um, it's what's behind you has nothing to do really with your game. Um, people don't want to see any of that. They want to see you and the gameplay. Um, but unless you do this process, you're stuck with the box, which hides whatever's behind you in the game. It might be an enemy, it might be, you know, something to pick up from the ground. So it blocks it. You lose that part of your screen. So I'm going to show you exactly step by step what to do. And it's fairly inexpensive. Um, I thought when I first found out that it was going to cost me, you know, $100, $200 to be able to get this working. Um, I was way wrong. So that's why I want to show you guys um, exactly what it's going to cost and how to do it. Very simple, very inexpensive for what you get out of it. Okay, so let's begin. If you look behind me right now, you're going to see uh, like a green curtain. Okay. What you do is just go to Amazon. I have the link in the description. So I would appreciate if you go ahead and follow through with this. Please use the link. Um, it doesn't cost you anything else, but it does help me out a little bit. It's kind of like a thanks uh, for the video. So I'll leave it at the bottom. Go into it. Um, I'll show you exactly which one I'm using right now because there's a million of them and different quality will give you different results. So if you get something else, you might not get the same results that I get. All right. I did a lot of research before I purchased mine. You're going to get the green screen and then you're going to get two stands. Okay. And what you do is in a pole. So what you do is you put the green screen through the poles and pretty much looks like, you know, a, a, a divider. Okay, and that's what it looks like behind me. You may it's pretty long, so it will cover whatever area your camera um, displays. Um, as you can see right now, all you see is green. So you know you can move it around and place it. Just make sure that your whole background in your camera is green. Once you have that set up like that, um, what you'll do is I'm going to go ahead and start assuming that you haven't even set up your camera. Okay. So let me go ahead and start from the beginning. So if you're already recording your gameplay, um, what you want to do is go to your sources. You should probably have game capture and you'll probably have Twitch alerts. If you watch my previous OBS video, if you haven't, I would highly recommend that you do. I'm going to leave it uh, at the end of the video um, for you to go ahead and click in it. Basically, I don't want to get too much into it, but you can see pretty much whoever subscribes to you while you're playing, and it's pretty cool. So, moving on. You go ahead and right-click, add, and you want to do video capture device. Once you do that, you're presented with this screen. Now, if your camera is already turned on, it'll automatically pick it up. So it'll show your camera right here on the uh, next to the device. It'll say whatever your brand is minus the Logitech HD Pro webcam C920, which not to get off topic is an awesome camera to use, especially for gameplay. And it works great with OBS. Um, so I highly recommend it. I've been using it since I started. I'll have a link of that at the bottom. Also, I think there's a $20 off right now. So I don't know for how long but I'll put it in the description for you guys. So once you make sure that you have the camera selected, then go ahead and hit okay. Next step is 
you right click on video capture I renamed it cam you can name it whatever it's just so you know exactly what it is so I named it cam so you right click on it and you're gonna go to filters then you're gonna get this screen so what you do here I would don't worry about audio video filters that's another video in itself but you go to effect filters you hit the plus sign and you want to choose chroma key right at the bottom you can rename that whatever you want also um, I leave it as chroma key then you'll see that it kind of removes some of the background but you can still see the lights and the shades um, and that's still going to block your your screen um, and we want to remove it all so what you do is you come down here make sure that the key color is in green um, you can use blue magenta or another color um, from what I've researched green is the best one to uh, remove backgrounds so go ahead and make sure that that's on green then we start off with similarity and you just want to go ahead and toggle this to the right and you can see the backgrounds going away right now okay um, if you go too far you'll get this okay not cute at all so just make sure you stop right when the background goes away that looks pretty good then you take care of smoothness all right so just the same as before but this one you don't want to move too much I mean a little bit and you're looking like this so move back that seems good to me and then the key color if for some reason you want to record yourself in black and white this is the spot to do it um, you move it to the right and you can see I'm black and white right now um, I like to see myself in color so I put that at one the opacity definitely want a hundred unless you want yourself faded and see-through which I'm not sure why you would want to do that then the contrast brightness and gamma you can play with that I'm pretty sure you guys are comfortable with that um, I don't it looks fine the way it is right now and when you're done you'll hit close and if you can see here I don't have any background you can see the windows background right behind me okay so the curtains gone and the backgrounds gone it's just me and the seat and the good thing about the green screen is you can move around and it's gone okay anything that's green won't show okay so just don't wear a, sh a green shirt because you're gonna look like you just have a head with nobody it's not complicated at all it's not expensive I think I paid probably 30 bucks for the setup so for what you get out of it pretty good price so that's all I have for this video guys I hope you enjoyed it if you did I appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't I'm gonna keep bringing you all sorts of videos especially with OBS make sure that you guys get the best gameplay out there from YouTube um, or anywhere else this is the spot to go so make sure you hit that subscribe get the notifications that way you're notified first as soon as I post a video thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video take care Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother.